fire or fauna. This cake can be both those things. Welcome to Behind the Cream, where I take you behind the scenes of some of my coolest cake creations. Let's get baking. I super love this cake. The textures and colors make the cake look like actual wood stumps. I'll get into exactly how I was able to do this later. It was great seeing people's reactions too when they realized that it wasn't just a pretty centerpiece, but cake. Just wait till we cut into it. It's so satisfying. Buttercream. I've already stacked and chilled three different size cakes. I go with different widths, but also different heights to make it that much more visually interesting. Also, three of my fave flavors. Red velvet with cream cheese frosting, marble swirl, and banana chocolate. So good. This is the exact photo which inspired the look of the cake. I saw this cake in three layers or three base colors, the inner core color, the outer ring, and then the exterior bar color. I start with the inner core color. I cut a circle of fondant mixed to the right light brown kind of sesame tone. I make sure the circle is small enough to allow space for the outer ring to go on top after. Good thing about doing things in nature is that the organic look is okay, aka not perfect. Now I add a darker strip of fondant that will act as that outer ring. I'm using my spatula here to make sure the sides meet the fondant, so later when the bark goes on, you won't see any ridges or lips. Then I repeat the process for two additional cakes. I also use my trusty X-Acto knife to make cuts onto the top of the cake that will look like rings later on. Now for the bark. I've mixed the perfect shade of gray that I'm calling birch gray and smoothing it onto the side of the cake. I've mixed it casually so you can see some different shades of gray streaks peeking through. How cool do these streaks look? Notice how I trim the top, imperfect and a little bit higher. Okay, now it's time for paint dark brown tones, and random circular patterns. Then I hit the sides with a bit more color and even more texture. Here's a better look at one of the other stumps. Lots of brown fading into the center. That's dark cocoa, the best kind. I use that to brush onto the cake, giving it another dimension of color and that dirty look. Notice that flaky look? I made sure the fondant was the right thickness so I could go back in and slice along the sides to give it that crackling bark vibe. Now for the easy part, the best part, presentation. I use actual branches and wax candles to lay around our freshly made stumps. Notice those white spots? I use powdered sugar to give it a little pop of white here and there. I just love all the textures and colors. Lucky me, I also got to be there for the cake cutting. Look at that moist red velvet. For me, it definitely has to look beautiful. But at the end of the day, what really matters is the taste. And here is the banana chocolate. That, folks, is a layer of caramelized banana puree. Sometimes I do some bourbon in it too. So, so good. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Bake Boss.